This is the first video in a series introducing Helios from the ground up. Um, is primarily intended to introduce terminology to new developers or new profile developers. If you are already familiar with Helios, it's probably way too basic for you. Um, as always, let me know in the comments if you got any value out of it. All right, here we are in um, Profile Editor, which is uh, one of the two programs that make up Helios. The other one is Control Center. Uh, we're going to see in a minute. But uh, the Profile Editor is um, the primary user interface for either installing a profile you downloaded or building an own profile. What's a profile? A profile is just Helios's document, um, so a document format. So if you um, don't know what Helios does, then uh, that doesn't help you. Uh, so what does Helios do? Well, Helios is a system for connecting one thing to another thing. And uh, usually one of those things is something that you stick on your screen. For example, uh, you may stick a gauge of some type on your screen and you want to connect it to the airspeed of the aircraft in your favorite flight simulator. Or you want, you have a, a status display on the screen and you want it to switch to a different page whenever you press certain buttons on your joystick. Those are very, very, seem, sound like very different things, but what they ultimately come down to is there are two things and one of them changes and the other one gets updated as a result. Helios is a general uh, system for doing those and I'm gonna tell you the terms that we use um, to describe them and how that uh, actually works. Okay, so let's, let's try to make this concrete so it won't be as confusing. So the most simple thing I can think of is a simple display called an enunciator. It's a, just a little box you can put on the screen. Um, and it, uh, you know, I'm putting it here on my center screen so that you'll see it when I'm recording it. And all it does is it either sits there and shows nothing, black box, or it can show a message. Uh, change the message to something less judgmental. Okay, great. So um, now we have a thing. So far, that wouldn't be very exciting. Uh, I can certainly save this profile, and I can, you know, run it in Control Center. Let's bring up Control Center. It says no profiles because when I started, there weren't any. So I'm going to click down to the first profile and run it. Great, here's my box. Doesn't do anything. Not very exciting. Let's hide that. Okay, so I said you tie two things together. So we're gonna have to have at least two things to, to, to introduce very many concepts here. So this first thing that we have, when I click on it, it shows me down here in the panel, it's called the bindings panel. It shows me its inputs because right now it's, I'm selecting input, and it shows me that this thing can be told to be, uh, uh, that I can set it, I can set it to on or off, so in other words, either show your message or don't show your message, I can hide it or not hide it, that's common for all things that are, that are controls you can stick on the screen, and I can, um, you know, just invert the current state. So if it's on, it'll become off, and if it's off, it becomes on. We call that toggle. So you can just you know go to the other state if you don't want to specify. You just want to change it. Um, this is the one we're going to use. We're going to try to switch it on. Okay, so it'll show its message. We're going to need something else to 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 connect it to to actually switch it on. So let's start with a simple button. We're going to take a little red button. And it has some inputs also, right? It uh, can be, uh, it can simulate being pushed. Again, that's an input. Uh, it can simulate being released. And it also has outputs. When you push it, it uh, fires an event called pushed. And in Helios terminology, we call that event a trigger. So the, a trigger is like a source of an event. So when you push the button, the trigger pushed 
will fire and anything that's tied to that will happen. And right now there's nothing tied to it, but let's, let's fix that. So when I click on the button here, it shows me down in the center panel, it shows me the outputs of that device. If I go click on the display again, it shows me the outputs of that device, which there aren't any. So in order to tie the two of them together, I need to click on one of them, display the thing I want to bind, and by bind we mean connect in an if this then that manner. Uh, I display its outputs and then I use the other browser over here on the left to find the thing I want to tie it to. So in this case, on monitor 2, I created an enunciator and it has a set hidden action. A thing that it can do in Helios terms is called an action. Remember I told you the events are called triggers and a thing that something can do is an action. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, grab this action with a mouse and throw it on the trigger that I want to use. I'll just do a drag and drop. So now Helios has what's created what's called a binding from the pushed trigger or event to the action of setting hidden. Now, how does it know whether to hide or unhide? Uh, sorry. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do, is it? I wanted to set the indicator. So let's, let's fix that. Okay, I'm going to hit delete, throw that away, grab the correct action that I actually wanted, which is to turn the indicator on or off, and uh, put it on the pushed event. So now, if pushed, then set the indicator to trigger value. What's the trigger value? Well, every event in, he in Helios, when it happens, like when it fires the binding, every trigger when it fires its binding, uh, attaches a value to it. And in the case of the, uh, sometimes that's a variable thing, like, hey, I've changed to this value. And in the case of the pushed event, it tells me right here that it's always the value true. So I'm just going to say, you know, set the indicator to true by just saying, take the value that's already there in the trigger. And that's done for, you know, convenience. Uh, what I can also do is I can take that same action and tie it to button released also. Now for the released event, the value is always false. So when the button is pressed, it'll set uh, indicator to true. And when the button is released, it'll set indicator to false. Let's test. Okay, control S, I'm gonna you know, save this, run it, press the button, message happens, release the button, message goes away. Easy. Except I should probably stop this before I put it away. Okay, so in recap, what is the Helios profile? It's a number of things. And in this case, we've used two things, a little display thing and a button both of which are in, in Helios terminology are called visuals internally. In the user documentation, we try to call them something like controls or gauges or buttons or switches or something like that. Um, internally, they're called a visual because you can stick them on the screen. And we've tied two visuals together, the trigger, uh, two triggers, in fact, on the, uh, on the button. We're each tied with a binding to an action on the enunciator. Next video.